Hey guys, it's me. Welcome back to a brand new video. We are in the beautiful world of San Maishuno. The only world, in my opinion, that looks good at night. But anyway, so we're gonna be renovating this apartment over here, the 19 Culpepper house. Now, I've been thinking this through before, well, starting recording. This room over here is big enough to do some kind of walk-in closet situation. And this bedroom over here, I think, is meant for a teenager, maybe. We're gonna keep it that way. I know this kitchen over here seriously needs our help and this living room over here well it's absolutely horrifying anyway so let's go ahead and delete a few things here or we maybe gonna take it room by room you know delete things as we go i don't know but i would actually love to start with this specific bedroom so we're gonna do that okay oh this is a little mousy hole i think the rats can spawn as long as you have these holes i don't know how to get rid of it and honestly i don't think it's necessary to get rid of them but anyway so as i said for this bedroom we can add a walk-in closet i don't like where this window is but guess what we can move them now which is incredible now i don't care if it aligns with the windows downstairs or not i'm just gonna do me so yeah okay all right so let's go ahead and get some lights in here first because it's incredibly dark all right it do I also just want to replace all of the existing lights that this house has or this apartment because they look horrendous and they're not really giving us much light to work with. Let's do a little situation like this. Is it going to be a big walk-in closet? I mean, it could be. All right, for the walk-in closet, we're going to add an archway for the Sims to access the little walk-in closet. Okay, this is not little. This is actually humongous. Do we have high wall, medium wall arches? Yeah, we do. Beautiful. We can add some white as well give it a more modern feel oh my gosh why did this happen all right I do that's fixed so for this walk-in closet we're gonna go in for dream home decorators stuff we're gonna say show all because i don't know where to find these specific things all right so we're gonna use some of these ones these modular clothes hanging shelf by b modulars place them along like that all right let's start by hanging some clothes in here so that it can begin to look Look like a walk-in closet that's pretty nice i love these boxes that you can use for clutter purposes these shoes we're definitely gonna use they could have maybe a bunch of junk up here as well makes sense i suppose these containers that i love so much i know that sounded sarcastic but i'm not i actually do like those containers yeah there you go it's a little bit more cluttered up now and over here we can maybe put something like this something like that and maybe yeah something like that over there and then we can use these base game mirrors to put in here as well i just need to turn on my trusty little friend that sounded so wrong i'm sorry <laughs> can have some of these yeah okay okay maybe not over there we can have one singular one there and well one singular one over there we can have some of these interesting looking shelves up here as well you know to change it up a little bit i'm not really sure what you use those for but i'm pretty sure we can use this in a bedroom or at least a walk-in closet okay i believe this little walk-in closet is cluttered enough we got oh god we got some other things over here as well some more shoes so since we're going with dream home decorator i'm gonna use a bed from that pack okay i think most of the items that we're gonna use is from dream home decorator so yeah i'm gonna use these as side tables deal with it later box i have many of those personally <laughs> oh you can put shoes down here as well oh that's pretty cool okay i also think we can add a little study area in this bedroom with a lovely little comfy chair okay i actually like this bed spread more than the previous one would it be weird to have exercising equipment in here? I don't think so. I mean, a lot of people have exercising equipment in their bedrooms. Now, I know this apartment is not one of the fancy apartments, but I'm gonna turn it into a fancy apartment. So, yes, we can have a treadmill in the bedroom. You know, these light switches are something that's so small, but really does add some detail to any room. We can have a light switch on the inside of the bathroom as well. Maybe where you open the door, you can just reach around and turn on the light not on this side but on this side yeah so the light switches for the bedrooms are gonna be on the inside and not on the outside i think it's a bit weird if it's on the outside because one night you think you're laying in bed but when you open your eyes you're actually having a disco party instead of sleepy time because your kid is being freaky with the light switch on the outside so yeah we're gonna keep the light switches to being on the inside of the bedrooms <laughs> i kind of like the dark thick 
wooden cabinets here. Oh my god, that looks so good, actually. I'm gonna keep these pots and pans. I know they're clipping into the cabinet spot. That's not my problem. Oh yeah, I forgot we're working with Dream Home Decorator. We can have a top stove and then we can have an oven. So you can either have it with the stove or on its own, which makes it look a little bit more fancier. But honestly, to me, it looks better if the oven is below the stovetop. Now, I don't know if that's working because I turned on my move objects or because it works because it just can work that way. I don't know. Okay, this shows to me that there is clipping involved. So no, it has to be separate, which is kind of weird. So yeah, we're going to keep it separate then. Like the fancy asses that we are. A coffee machine is always a welcome. Obviously, I'm not going to let this kitchen go without some islands. Like, obviously not. Now, this island piece is being a bitch. It doesn't want to clip. Okay, okay, you're all being bitches. Let me just do this by myself then. Ugh, this is so tedious. And you have to be very dexterous to do this. Not really. It's just you have to have patience, that's all. <laughs> I suppose. Not a lot of it, but you need a little bit of patience when doing that. Anyway, let's get ourselves some chairs. And this is automatically going to act as our dining area. So yeah, we're not gonna worry about dining tables and fancy shit like that. We're just gonna keep to eating at the islands. That sounded very fancy. Okay, the only thing that's not fancy is this monstrosity over here. Now, I know there is a way to get rid of it, but I mean, why should we get rid of it when we can just close it up, maybe? I'm not really sure what I'm doing over here, but I'm doing something and I kind of like it. Wood is kind of fancy. Or a concrete column could maybe do the trick as well. You know, I'll, I'll see how I feel about that column as we go around the renovation, okay? And that basically just means renovation. It, it's, it's not an actual word from a different language or anything uh, I just said it funny so let's go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do with this horrendous little living room area now this piano I'm gonna keep because I actually don't know why I kind of like having the piano in here or not the piano the keyboard the floor I feel like I want to keep this white but I'm not exactly sure that rhymed <laughs> Kill me. We can go with a dream home decorator rug in here for the living room. Okay, that looks a little bit not right. Can use a massive ass rug or a normal ass rug. I don't like having the same rugs in the bedroom and the living room. You know, this rug actually looks good sized up here. No, let's maybe keep it as it was. Yeah, let's keep it as it was. This I'm gonna get rid of then and maybe take a rug out of a different pack. Let's say maybe Tiny Living. Kind of like it, but it's, it's kind of annoying me as well. I don't know how to put it. It's giving me a little bit of a headache. Let's keep the freaking keyboard on this side. Okay, the only thing here is I'm not gonna sit here tingling away on a freaking keyboard while my head is getting radiation poison on the other side. Like, that's not gonna happen. I'm maybe gonna move this then. Is radiation poison even the right term for that? Like, I know it's like radiation that a microwave uses to heat up your food, which means it's not healthy to eat food out of a microwave. If you guys didn't know that, you do now. The more you know, right? Yeah, especially pregnant women, I do advise you to stay away from microwaved foods and microwaves in general, only when it's turned on. Okay, let's maybe go ahead and change the swatch here. Oh, I love the green. You know, I so for some reason, I always tend to go either this color, black, or this color, the teal, whatever that is, when doing renovations. Like, I mean, look at the bedroom. It has a little bit of teal green going on, and now I'm doing the exact same for the living room. And I actually hate it. Not the color, but the fact that I'm doing it the same as in the bedroom. So let's go with this weird peachy color. I'm not gonna use a different example to which I can connect that color to. I, I I don't know what I just freaking said, but okay. Let's go ahead and get a lovely little table on which we can put our taivai. This is a fancy house, so yeah, we will have a taivai. Obviously, we're gonna have a beautiful little flat screen going on. All right, I don't like it that this chair has the same kind of throw that this chair has. Maybe we can switch things up a notch. Have one of them brownish? You know, I'm kind of into that. Ooh, the little tables that we got from Dream Home Decorator, the little coffee tables. We can have one of these in the corner here on a little angle, because that's fancy. I don't know why, but it just is. I think I'm going to be able to think better if I painted the walls here first. Don't know why I tend to do this last. Are we going to do some exposed brick? I am not exactly sure, but you know, I kind of dig it. I'm kind of into it. Maybe we can do this one like that. 
that as well. Yeah, I kind of dig it. You know, I think I'm gonna keep it that way. How about going along this wall? Yeah, okay, no, that's hurting my eyes a lot. We can maybe go in for Dream Home Decorator's curtains again. But I would love to use these sheer curtains. They're beautiful and they work very well in any freaking bold you do. Don't know how, they just do. Don't question it, okay? It just does. Okay, we don't have the top part thingy over here for the, our other curtains. Like, that would be nice if we had one of those thingies. If you guys can hear that, I'm so sorry. We have idiots out here that's doing some construction work. I mean, they're not idiots for doing construction, but I mean, every time I record, there's something or someone making a hell of a noise. But yeah, like, it would be nice to have the matching ones. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay, whatever. So let's maybe not go with these curtains and go with these because they have matching rods. Okay, but which color? Hmm, the black? No, it's it's kind of plastic looking though if it's black. I don't know how to put it. Blue? No, maybe the blue can work if we change the swatch of this so far. Yeah, okay, I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Hey, mommy, look what I did. I added a pillow by myself. Isn't that incredible? I don't know if I want to keep it though. I'm a little bit confused myself at what I'm actually trying to achieve here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just adding pillows and hoping that it will look Good, but it's actually just making everything look worse. We can have one of these fancy monstrosities over here. I'm not sure what they're for, what their purpose is, but I mean, it's for decoration purposes, so we're gonna keep it, I suppose. Or we can have this little book house. I love the little book house. It's so cute. But maybe somewhere else. Also, I am not renovating on a budget, which means I can go to town if I want to with any price tag and any item. I'm not limiting myself to one pack or anything over here. So to town we shall go with the Zerenovation. I feel like we could get some of these, a lot more of these in different packs to come or maybe as base game items. You know, that would be very lovely. Having a nice hanging plant as a base game item. We don't have that in base game. You have to pay for those fucking sucks so yeah that's why i'm asking for hanging plants but for base game no that would be splendiferous okay so i think we are obviously not finished but i feel like this place is starting to look pretty lovely okay i changed up the rug situation in the middle i added these two fluffy rugs instead i think it looks nicer than the crap we had before yeah i i kind of like this angle kind of looks weird it kind of plays on the eyes a little bit but it looks good i feel all right so i think our living room is pretty much cluttered up enough i don't think i'm gonna add any more than this otherwise it's gonna be too much there's actually a nice spot for a bin here uh, okay i'm actually gonna keep that bin there this don't think you can get rid of that but okay okay we have a bin we have a sink we have a stove we have all that jazziness i think the kitchen is actually basically finished i just want to add a few more more food-ish items here, maybe. There we go, we're finished. Looks nice, don't it? I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna put a freaking cushion up there. Um, I don't know what to put here. <laughs> maybe it's not the clutter that's annoying me. Maybe it's the color of our counters. Like, I like the dark cabinets. Like, I really do like that. But the counters over here, the islands and stuff, I feel like their tops should be different colors or a different color. Not freaking rainbow and shit, just a different color. We could get away with the black. Hmm. But now you're gonna want to change the counters inside the kitchen and you're gonna want to change the cabinets as well. Maybe let's just take it for a test drive. All right, so the white cabinets I'm not feeling. The black is gonna make it look too dark. But you know, if it works, it works. So... I don't know. Maybe we should just get one of these things up here for our kitchen. These hood things. I still don't know what the freak you call them. I just keep calling them those hood things. Well, yeah, they have the word hood in them. So it must be the right item I'm looking for. Maybe we should change the color of our chairs here to white. The white chairs are a little bit better. Maybe it's the flooring that annoys me. There is always something that annoys me that I can't really put my finger on it like what it is that annoys me. Black floor tiles or black wooden planks whatever um bleeding into the living room a little bit i don't know are we gonna keep to oh shit are we gonna keep to this being wooden or matte as in carpets. I don't know. Hmm. I kind of like the dark brown mixing with the black in the kitchen. Like, this is actually pretty sexy, I'm, I must say. Alright, 
Against this wall over here, I know it's just meant to be a column, but I feel like we could put something there to make it look nice. Maybe a wall mounted plant? I'm not sure, but something we are gonna put here. Like these maybe. These are what you actually put on the outside of your house, but I feel like this looks good on the inside as well. But yeah, let's go over to the teen bedroom. I was thinking about a boy's bedroom. I mean, since they like getting freaky with light switches, should be a male, I think. I don't know how that's supposed to make sense, but yeah, I, I just want to do a male bedroom for a teenager <laughs> for once. You can have these sheer curtains in here, pretty lovely. Have them in black, of course, because we're a broody teen. Are we gonna go single bed or double bed? I feel like we could go single bed, you know, it will save us a lot of space. But then again, we have a lot of space in this bedroom, so I feel like we could pull off a double bed. I know this might be a little bit, you know, old style or cringy but i kind of like the black and the white you know have one side black one side white i'm not gonna do that with the walls i just feel like it's it's kind of cool looking just bear with me okay we can have a mixture of exposed brick open concrete walls i don't know why i said open concrete walls but yeah okay and we have maybe some wood paneling going on in this bedroom as well i love that so we can have a lovely wardrobe somewhere in this bedroom let's do oh, maybe a walk-in closet that would be a good idea as well but the built-in closet not the walk-in closet now i didn't mean to do that so we can maybe move this door or we can just move the bed Maybe like this, put it on an angle. These clutter pieces I'm just gonna put there in the corner for now. Because I don't wanna get rid of them actually. Over here, I'm gonna put down a little study desk for our teen boy to study at. Not that they're gonna study, they're gonna be playing games the whole day. But you know, that is our boys, that is our teens. So we actually don't care what they do behind their desks they are trustworthy and they're mature so we're not gonna worry about giving our teen boy a desk with a computer all right not sure what i'm trying to get at but i think you know what i am trying to get at here <laughs> anyway let's get our minds away from that for a minute shall we it's my fault that you're thinking about that in the first place i know but what are you thinking about don't be disgusting i'm like i didn't mean it like that at all i promise <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that laugh says everything. The other thing about teen boys is they love bragging, showing off. I would like to give them a weightlift machine. If it's called a weightlift machine. What are these actually called? Wait, hold on a second. Allow me to feel not stupid for once. Hold on a second. I might cut that part out and just skip to the part where I say, You better respect. <laughs> yeah, I would like to give them one of these. You know, the better respect things. But what are they actually called? Powerful multi-trainer exercise machine oh it is a machine so i'm not that dumb after all the rack that's very appropriate sims team like i don't i don't know does it work for your rack does it do anything does it give you a lift job or you know i'm just gonna stop there zen exercise weight machine like this i would love to give the boy one of these but it's okay you know what they're not really gonna use their closets are they i suppose i could give them one like they would really love that i mean whoever in the sims in the history of sims uses an actual closet yeah i know you can woohoo it that one but we're a teen boy who's respectable and trustworthy all right so yeah we are allowed to cover that one up over there hmm <laughs> Alrighty, dude, let's get a nice little shelf of some sort in here because I want something to put this junk upon. I'm gonna have another one of these table thingies, but on an angle because teen boys don't care how they place their furniture. Alright, I'm gonna have the phone over here, closest to the bed, of course, and a headset on the table or the desk, whatever that is. You know, maybe instead of shelves, we could give them minor storage space. And a lot of posters and shit. Kind of like the little wall unit situation that I'm building over here. Like I know I said minor storage space, but does it really have to be that minor? You can have a mirror over here because boys love checking themselves out after a good workout. They work out for a few hours or minutes and then they get up and think to themselves, God, I think I just got me a nice six pack over there. Yeah, like that's not how workout works, all right? At least not immediately after you've done a workout 
work out, you're gonna start seeing shit happen. Like it takes a while for your muscles to form after the exercise. You know, like I'm I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know. Suppose the boy could have a yoga mat here as well with a dumbbell weight lift thingy. I'm sure you call it a dumbbell, I'm not sure exactly. But okay, I think our teen's bedroom is finished and we're gonna leave the posters because, you know, that is for immature boys, not for mature boys. Anyway, let's go over to the bathroom. I'm just kidding. Just because you have posters against your wall doesn't mean you're immature, okay? Everybody has their preferences in life. Anyway, so we got the freaking pipe situation here again and I would love to cover it up once again, but this means it's gonna take away a lot of space in our bathroom, but it's okay, it's still big enough to work with, which is alright. Now, you know, I think this apartment is literally a fixer-upper or something. Yeah, there we go. Um, which means that these pipes can actually give in and you'll need someone to fix it for you. So I feel like there should be access to those pipes. And it's sad that we cannot take this away. Maybe we can balance that trait out with something else. Maybe say fast internet and I don't know, homie. Probably. But just in case they will need to go in here to fix up shit, we could maybe do this. Make it bigger. Oh my gosh, you can actually run a wall between these pipes. Like, I hope they don't need this either. Like, should we put a door here for in case they need to fix up something in here? Oh my god, you know what? Nobody's gonna know there's a door here, are they? I don't know, but yeah, we. Well, I suppose we can have a door there. Doesn't make sense at all. I know, but it's just for in case, okay? Of course, we're gonna have this beautiful two-in-one shower and bath from... <laughs> if you see my face now, you might be thinking that I want to sneeze or something, but I'm just trying to remember what the name of this pack is. Growing together. And we're gonna use a normal ass toilet. We don't need to go too fancy with toilets here. Of course, we can have a lovely mirror for our little sink. And over here, we can have some poopy paper and some towels against the walls. I know it's a little bit of a far stretch to get out here and grab your towel over there, but I mean, it's just to fill up the wall, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna add anything more to this bathroom because it's a bathroom. It doesn't need to be cluttered and super fancy and shit. So yeah, I think we're finished with this whole apartment. I think it looks pretty nice. All right, so here we are in our little apartment. Ignore this door. This door is not supposed to be here. Just ignore it, okay? First off, we could maybe go ahead and check out our bathroom. I know this is the last thing we've seen, so we know exactly how it looks like. We haven't forgotten how it looks like or anything. But yeah, okay, there's the bathroom. There's the bin. Beautiful, I know. It's maybe the most beautiful part of this house. Over here, we have our big, actually very big modern kitchen. This is our living room, combination of blue, green, brown. Here we have our parents' bedroom or whoever decides to live here, but this is the main bedroom. They have a little desk over there. They have a lovely walk-in closet situation over here. If we go, oh my god, the legs though. If we go this side, we have the teen boy's bedroom. Okay, this is probably my favorite room in this whole house. I love how clean it is. Well, for a teen boy, it's very clean. And I just like the colors that I used here. Okay, and of course I did, oh my gosh. Anyway, I did not forget about the little balcony over here. We have a little plant, a little barbecue, some places to sit, and well, very minor detailing for the balcony. I mean, because it's a balcony. I mean, you're not gonna add a lot of things here, are you? But okay, I think this is a much better version of the apartment that we had before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the renovation. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one.